What kind of a moron forgets to pick up his laptop at a repair shop? You're a Biden. Act like one. I want to know everything that's on that laptop that can ruin my erection. I'll never forget Corn Pop. He was a bad dude. No joke. Dad, we were talking about suffering. No. This is what Andrew Breitbart used to say, ladies and gentlemen, that politics is downstream of culture. Art will imitate life. Life will imitate art. And you better be creating culture unless, unless you want to lose. If you want to lose, and if you want to live in a world that is created by these absolute monsters, the Bidens in particular, well then give up. Don't create culture, don't create art, but we refuse to give up. And that's why we are so excited to be bringing in a legend, a Hollywood legend, a director, an actor, and the man behind a movie that is absolutely killing it. The country is being taken over by the phenomenon, my son, Hunter. There was one man brave enough to make this movie. His name is Hollywood legend Robert Davi. Somebody tried to interdict in your film that was Hunter Biden himself. We were shocked. Our jaw was on the floor when we heard the story. Hunter Biden personally tried to shut down your film. If that is an endorsement to go out and purchase the film, buy it and watch it right now. I don't know what it is. Can you tell us the story? Yeah, I don't know if he tried to shut it down, but all I can tell you is this. When we, we shot the film in Belgrade, Serbia, because we needed to have those locations of the Ukraine and uh, uh, Bucharest and China, you know, all the deals he made around. So to have an exotic look to th certain things. So when I had gotten to uh, Belgrade initially at the hotel, which is a, a great hotel, the management was fans of mine, you know, because the films and stuff, of course, they they ingratiate themselves to me. And they says, Hunter Biden was here last month. I go, what? He was here at this hotel last month. And I thought, was, what was he doing here? I says, was he was there an art gallery? What could it have been? What, there was a was there a message being sent to Serbia because there were the changing ambassadors? Was there a you know because there's there's questionable things that happen in different parts of the world, especially there uh, anywhere. So what was he doing there? And then while we were filming, the producer film him says, "Oh, uh, he's a Northern Irish guy, Philem McLear, a good guy, very funny guy." He goes, "You know we got." Uh, we got a, a documentary queue is doing a film on Hunter Biden. They're from the South Park people, you know. So they're one of us, basically. I says, well, who cares if they're one of us? I don't want anybody uh, doing a documentary clue on, on the film because I don't want anybody to extract anything. No, he says, well, we, we had them sign something. It's going to be okay. They're, they're, they're nice guys, you know. He was, uh, he's, he's, uh, they're with South Park, you know. So uh, reluctantly, I, you know, I said, I don't want anybody on the set. I'm very, anyway, they did come, and they were nice enough, the gentlemen. And um, we find out, after we film now, Philem calls me up, he goes, guess what? I go, what? You know those people that came to the sit? Yeah. He says, well, that was Hunter Biden's lawyer. That's a guy named Morris. And he gave $2 million to bail out Hunter Biden for his tax thing. I says, oh, interesting. So that's what that story is. I don't know if they came to interdict it or to stop it or what they did but they showed up on the set under a assumed identity. And and were they like snooping around? Do you have any idea what they were looking for? Were they attempting to find information, maybe harm someone? What were they looking for? No, no, I don't think it was anything that, I don't know. I, I was just concerned they were gonna try to take, you know, footage of our film yeah. to use for their documentary. I didn't yeah. want anything out. That's what I was concerned A filmmaker protecting his thing. I had this was the furthest thing on my mind yeah. that this was happening. But Lawrence interviewed with them, John James interviewed with them. And you know, sometimes actors when they after the day of working and they're sitting down at the bar downstairs talking, they'll have a, a scotch or something and they who knows where they went. Uh, but it was it was it, it didn't seem to be Maybe they just wanted to garner the, the nature of what the production was, because my thing was not to demonize, you know what I mean, but to, exp but to show, to mm -hmm. entertain, and let the audience see what hasn't been seen or has been denied by most of the media. Well, John James and Lawrence Fox are dynamite on camera together. Hopefully Hunter Biden's lawyer got a good look at this scene. We certainly did. It's incredible. So tell me. 
goddamn repair shop got your laptop and brought it to the FBI. I got water damage. I took it to be fixed. Water damage? What, were you swimming with it? I forgot to pick it up. Forgot to pick it up. I was so busy with you. Can I? Oh, come on, man. I mean, what kind of a moron forgets to pick up his laptop at a repair shop? Were you high or drunk? No, Dad. I'm sober. Bullshit. So I'll tell you what's going down. Do you know who I am? They told me you were VIP. Well connected to the government. What kind of a moron forgets to pick up his laptop at a repair shop? You're a Biden. Act like one. Everything he built, life, I just ruined it all. I want to know everything that's on that laptop that can ruin my erection. My friends, it's show. time there to party! No, I'm taking control. I'm making appearance and I gotta go. Cause I get a I'm a bad guy. I'm an artist. Tell me how I can help you. Well, I don't deserve help. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been through worse. You're the smartest man I know. Thanks, Dad. I just wish I could smack some sense to you. I'll never forget Corey Pop. He was a bad dude. No joke. Dad, we were talking about suffering. I can't seem to find anything but positive stuff on the Bidens. Who's the point man for the foreign policy in the Obama regime? Joe Biden. So it looks like he need a billion dollars. So the obvious next question is, where's Hunter? I can remember getting paid some money, but I can't remember what for. Well, my dad says we never discuss my businesses, period. Or my cut. What's happening in there? Joe's in on it. Party's over! You had everything, Hunter, and you threw it all away. You hope the laptop will take down everybody with you. Get out! China's not our enemy. They're not bad folks, folks. I love my dad, and I just want to make him proud. I am the one who brings in all the deals. I am the one. The boy. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears taste like ice cream. We ridicule the establishment and we do so because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up. Please punch, subscribe, and ring the bell to let you know when we have a new video. Don't you want us to let you know when we're live? Please check out more of our videos here and sign up for our mailing list in case something happens and the plug gets pulled. We want to be able to keep in touch with you. My name is Benny Johnson and thank you for watching Based Patriots Stay Free.